Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here. Today we're going to be doing a CJ dropshipping review. So taking a look at CJ dropshipping, what do I think of it? What are the pros and cons of CJ dropshipping? How does it compare to other dropshipping platforms such as AliExpress, Spocket, Oberlo? That's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. And before we dive in, I do want to remind you guys that there's a link First link in the description to my dropshipping mastery course. So you can go ahead and check that out there. I have both the Shopify dropshipping mastery as well as product plus. So that is at brennanvaleski.com forward slash join. So go ahead and check out the link down in the description. And without further ado, let's jump into the review of CJ dropshipping. So what exactly is CJ dropshipping in the first place? So they are a platform which allows you to both source products and you can ship the products directly directly to customers. So they're actually most similar, I would say, to AliExpress because they actually allow you to source and find those products that you want to sell in your dropshipping store. So as far as the authorization and the integrations, how does CJ Dropshipping uh, compare and integrate with various different e-commerce platforms? So depending on what e-commerce platform you're using, whether it be Shopify, which is primarily what we're focusing here in this video today because it is the most popular popular dropshipping platform, but there's also, uh, of course, WooCommerce. And so what exactly uh, does CJ Dropshipping integrate with? So as you can see here on their authorization list, CJ Dropshipping integrates with Shopify, eBay, WooCommerce, ShipStation, uh, the API, Lazada, and Shopee. So of course, you have your popular ones like Shopify, eBay, WooCommerce, and ShipStation. Uh, those are some of the most popular ones. Really, the Shopify and WooCommerce integrations are fantastic. And if you're doing eBay dropshipping as well, uh, you can do eBay dropshipping with CJ dropshipping. So those are the various different platforms that they integrate with and how to list the products on your store. We're not going to be diving in too much on how exactly to use CJ dropshipping in this video, more so just doing an overview, looking at the platform and how does it compare uh, to other options out there. Of course, it's a primary uh, all AliExpress alternative. In my opinion, it's a great AliExpress alternative if you're looking for uh, somewhere else to source products other than AliExpress, which is typically what you're going to see with platforms with Oberlo, of course, and even if you're using AliScraper with Spocket. Uh, and CJ Dropshipping gives you a little bit different of even a Chinese sourcing option with pretty good shipping time. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of their product examples. So Let's go ahead and take a look at jewelry and watches. Let's go to, uh, let's see, necklace and pendants. Let's go to that one. So as you can see, there's a lot of various different categories for, for one thing uh, within CJ dropshipping. There's a lot of different categories that you can select from. So you can add them to a queue and import them into your store uh, through whichever authorization or whichever integration that you're using. If you're using Shopify, you can do that, of course, as I mentioned uh, before. So they have it where you add it into their queue directly on their website. So you don't necessarily need the app integration. They have it built into their website of course you can still install the app such as here on the Shopify app store uh, you can still obviously add the app and, and it's free to install and then you can do your your various uh, CJ dropshipping product imports that way which we're gonna be diving into a little bit here about other the, the other features that she CJ dropshipping offers uh, we're gonna be getting into that a little bit later in this video so taking a look at one of the products uh, let's just say this uh, elephant heart necklace so just taking a look at this product here. So this is just one example. Obviously, there's a ton of different products that you can select from. And so you can see this is when the price was recently updated. That's what the product price is. So this would be the shipping cost here. Uh, this is shipped from, from their Thailand warehouse. And they, they do have various different warehouses um, around the globe. So maybe we'll take a look at another product that has other warehousing options. So as you can see, this is the... Uh, platform you select the platform that you're using you select the warehouse that you're shipping from depends on uh, and then you're shipping your orders to the specific country so this is what the estimated delivery time is two to three days from Thailand if you're shipping it 
I believe that would be from Thailand to Thailand. So uh, pretty quick there in that situation. Obviously, you still have tracking information available. Uh, the shipping cost is uh, pretty good there. Uh, we're going to take a look at a few other examples as well. Uh, pretty solid delivery time. The total drop shipping price, as you can see on this product here, after the shipping cost would be $15.99. And they don't currently have any in inventory on this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Uh, pretty quick processing times as well. So in general, uh, good options there as far as like the processing time and the shipping times if you're just looking at the at the day to day uh, basis there let's go ahead and try and find another product here on their website so obviously they have a lot of different niche categories that you can select from let's go back to their their home page here and select another category so let's do health and beauty let's do beauty tools maybe out of curiosity of course, there's so many that you could be selecting from. It, it really just depends on what kind of niche you're doing, uh, what categories you're selling within in your dropshipping store. They have a lot to, to choose from. So let's do this shaver, of course. Select this out of the miscellaneous different products. So uh, there you go. So this one actually pretty low inventory in their US warehouse. Uh, so you're going to have to do some digging here to finding uh what has inventory of course um on depending on what SKU you're looking at so it really just depends on what products you're looking at as far as the inventory let's try, try and take a look at this one of course we're doing this all live here right now as we are going so trying to find one with inventory might be an issue uh, and these are U.S., so you can do U.S.-based drop shipping because they have their U.S. warehouses, which is nice. So obviously, this product price is a little bit higher than the other one. Uh, that's that would be the shipping cost here. They even have the USPS uh, shipping methods, so they have lots of different warehouses, all global uh, for global drop shipping, which is very nice uh, as far as finding different. Uh, products depending on where you're selling to or where your customers you can even filter them uh, as well by the US the Thailand like I showed you before the China warehouse Germany Indonesia Australia Japan Canada Mexico uh, and and the list goes on and on so they really do have a lot of different warehouses that you can select from which is very good for people that are looking to sell to maybe different markets even outside of the US even though obviously the US markets probably the most popular one that people sell to I get that people do sell to other markets outside of just the US so finding the right supplier might be a little bit of a challenge for you depending on uh, what category you're in let's try let's try um, fashion jewelry let's say that one okay so let's say various different lists okay let's do this moon necklace so it really just depends on what product you're looking to find based on the supplier okay okay good we found one with inventory guys we found one with inventory so this is kind of the, the sorting process you might have to go through if you're using cj dropshipping is hey you got to find one with inventory i mean it makes sense look they're trying to warehouse they're fully stocked they're, they're, they've got it fully stocked, 41,000 in inventory. So if you're looking for some moon glow necklaces, you know, luck of the draw here, uh, maybe you search for this specific supplier. So obviously if you're looking for dropshipping suppliers, CJ Dropshipping has a lot of different options, but you might have to do some digging to find one that suits your specific needs, of course. And this one's based on the China Warehouse. So maybe it's just the China Warehouse. They have a lot more inventory in their China Warehouse than maybe some of the other uh, various different warehouses that they have around the, the globe. Really just depends. It's kind of what I'm seeing here as we're doing this walkthrough uh, review here on the fly. So you can see that that's a lot more inventory than some of the other products we were taking a look at. You can order uh, various quantities, so you can easily boom up the quantity there. You get a various potential discount on the shipping costs, which would make a lot of sense there. Uh, pretty low processing time, but in general, even from China, compare if you were to compare CJ Dropshipping versus AliExpress, in a lot of cases, even from the China warehouse, they're 
CJ packet, that's that's a pretty good shipping time. Eight to thirteen days, you know, five to fifteen days even on some of the other products that I've seen. Uh, that's pretty good shipping time. So I wouldn't, you know, that's a lot better than even some of the sh general shipping times that you might expect with AliExpress. You could have better shipping times with a platform like CJ Dropshipping, even though they're both in China. So. It's a good alternative there if, if you're looking for somewhere with a lot of inventory uh, in their warehouses, but have even a little bit better shipping methods and shipping times. So that's a real, that's a, that's a plus there for CJ Dropshipping for sure is their shipping times, especially comparing uh, both coming from China as well. Uh, if you're comparing China, China, because it, it, you can't really compare uh, various country, one country to another country because it's completely different depending on where they where the product is going. So that's a good thing there. Now let's go ahead. And so we found that that's how you do this. The supplier research, of course, depends on what niche or category you're looking at. Obviously, they have a ton of different categories that you can look at. Very similar to AliExpress as far as how the categories are all broken down. Now, let's go into the specifics of what else do they offer, right? What else do they offer on CJ Dropshipping? So, if we look at the Shopify app store here, you can do sourcing requests. This is actually very similar to uh, another platform I've talked about on the channel, uh, Udropy, where you can do sourcing requests for free. So, you can submit a certain number of sourcing requests uh, to the CJ team and and they will review the request and see if they can find a product for you based on their various warehouses that they have available. So this is a really good option, uh, similar to how Udropy works with CJ Dropshipping, where you can actually source products based on what your specific needs are, and they will actually try and find those products for you, which is pretty good if you're looking for a specific, maybe you're scaling up, you need a certain type of product outside of just what you find by looking through their website. Maybe you don't find something thing it's a good option there they also do video material for marketing which i think they have an example here in one of their screenshots is for, yes right here so as far as the uh, video shooting requests they will shoot videos of the products uh for a fee there so they will actually do video shoots, which is pretty cool in case you maybe want to see uh if you want them to do a professional shoot of of a product out of their warehouse they'll at least get you something going which is pretty solid uh, you could always do this yourself if you wanted to but it is nice that they you know instead of having to order uh, a product or or if you don't want to order in bulk and obviously the benefits of dropshipping is you don't necessarily need even the product yourself you can just have them manage that and then they will uh, do a video shooting request uh, for you a video shoot for you obviously you set, submit the request and that, that's a nice Nice feature. Not all other dropshipping platforms offer that the video shooting request, which makes sense because CJ Dropshipping they're sourcing the products, so they uh, can offer this service to you as well. So pretty cool. Another unique selling proposition there, in my opinion. So they do the video shooting, the video uh, material for marketing, obviously, so you can uh, increase potential conversions on on various ads campaigns. Of course, you want the original unique video material another thing like i mentioned already before they do have some u.s warehouse shipping so you can do u.s uh product or usa drop shipping with the various products that they have available in those warehouses now of course availability it really just depends as you could see here in this little quick search uh availability may vary depending on the products that you're looking at or what type of um category that you're looking for specifically so that could that could vary from product to product but that's generally what the app offers and well really what cj dropshipping offers they offer you the various different shipping methods with pretty solid delivery times even better than a lot of the delivery times that i've seen within aliexpress uh, of course, you can uh, easily link your products. This is just some screenshots that they have available. So you can easily sh uh, link your product from the CJ dropshipping pages and then import it directly into your Shopify store. Or if you're doing eBay or WooCommerce, it really just depends on whatever platform you're trying to connect them to. Uh, of course, Shopify is a good option, uh, of course. And so you can e you pay for the product directly on there, submit the invoices, and everything's pretty solid and smooth all through their uh, management, their dropshipping management and analytics. So you can take a look at, okay, what do I need to do? And they have everything available right in there. So, you know, that's really CJ dropshipping. 
Uh, I would say the biggest pros it has to go with them is that they offer you the direct supplier and fulfillment service management because they have the connections there with all their various warehouses and something different than some of the other dropshipping apps or services offer you, CJ Dropshipping gives you that more direct connect, very similar to how an Alibaba or even AliExpress works. But it's, you know, they have pretty good shipping times even within CJ Dropshipping comparative to AliExpress, which, of course, if you're using Oberlo, you're pretty much more or less limited to AliExpress. So if you want to use Oberlo, cool, but this is another good alternative that you could use in your dropshipping store. Of course, no matter which different dropshipping platform you're using, uh, you could use the Shopify platform and, and set up a dropshipping store that way. It doesn't really matter, of course, as, as long as you set everything up, then you're good to go through whichever e-commerce platform that you specifically prefer. Now, the only cons with CJ Dropshipping is that, as you could see, it's, it might be a little bit difficult to find the specific product that you're looking for with inventory in a certain warehouse. So you might have to do some extra digging uh, on their website to find the specific supplier and product that you really need for your store. Might be a little bit more work than some of the other options and alternatives out there to CJ Dropshipping. That's maybe one of the downsides just I see through this a uh, quick review here as we're going through things. Uh, they also off do offer print on demand. That's another thing I forgot to mention. They do also offer print on demand services uh, along with their various different warehouses. So if you do need print on demand, uh, they do have that available as well. Just want to make sure I throw that in there. Uh, so they have a lot of different services that you can uh, take a look at, of course. It's up to you whether or not you want to use CJ Dropshipping, but I would say they are a pretty good alternative. It might be a little bit more work as well getting things kind of set up because it's a little bit different uh, of a process than the typical importing thing products from AliExpress processes that you might be familiar uh, with Oberlo or, or even another platform like Spocket uh, for dropshipping. So I would say CJ Dropshipping is pretty solid as far as the pricing goes. They do just charge based on... Be uh, the products. So because they are sourcing you the products that way, uh, that's how they get their margin in there because they're offering you these other additional services and they're selling you uh, the products. They are basically the dropshipping supplier is CJ Dropshipping. So I would say overall, another pretty good option that you could use for dropshipping. Once again, I do have links down to the dropshipping mastery course down in the description or the product plus course if you're interested in that to learn everything you need to know about product research. And then of course the drop Dropshipping Mastery is the step-by-step -step dropshipping course that is available. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.